Oleksiy Makayev, Ukrainian ambassador to Germany, thank you for speaking to us today. Last year, uh, your predecessor laid a wreath at one of the Soviet uh, memorials here in Berlin to commemorate uh, the end of National Socialism in Germany and Europe. You are not going to do the same this year. Why this decision? Ukraine and Ukrainians have made a very important contribution uh, to the victory uh, and to elimination of uh, Nazism in Europe. We've been always uh, saying never again, but unfortunately, Russian Federation brought a war to Europe in the 21st century. And they're using pretty much the same methods as Nazi Germany in Ukraine. I cannot go to the Soviet memorial where Russian propaganda states uh, 1941, 45, forgetting about Molotov Ribbentrop Pact and Russian invasion uh, in, into Poland uh, and uh, into Finland, etc., etc. And I decided that we lay a wrath to the Neue Wache, to the memorial to all victims of the wars. And we will uh, go together with the Ukrainian community here, uh, peacefully with Ukrainian flags. And my point is that we need to put an issue of German responsibility uh, uh, towards Ukraine in times of Second World War as a very important topic. You spoke about flags. Now, last year, Berlin's police banned all flags and symbols, both Ukrainian and Russian, from the commemoration events. They tried to do it again this year, but a court reversed that decision. And as it stands, all flags and symbols, both Ukrainian and Russian, will be allowed this year. What do you think of this decision and this back and forth? Uh, on Friday, I've been uh, talking to the uh, Berlin police uh, and persuaded them not uh, to challenge the court decision on Ukrainian flags, so they remain uh, on the streets uh, today uh, and, and, and tomorrow and in the days. But I know that uh, Berlin uh, police challenged the court decision on uh, Russian uh, flags, and we wait for the results uh, of today. I know that, unfortunately, all those Russian uh, and Soviet flags are a part of Russian propaganda and uh, I think this is a, an issue of uh, internal uh, security for Germany not to allow people uh, over and over again declaring uh, the, uh, the Russian propaganda uh, slogans uh, on the streets while uh, um, waging uh, a real war of attrition uh, towards Ukraine. This is the second May 8th since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. What uh, relevance does this day have today in light of the symbolism that the Kremlin attributes to it and in light of the current situation with the war going on in Ukraine? When Ukraine will also have a victory day when we win against Russia and protect our country. German police uh, prematurely disclosed that Ukrainian President Zelensky was meant to visit Berlin on May 13th. Now, what went wrong with the communication there? And is the president going to be in Germany after all? Uh, the security of uh, the president is uh, one of the most important things. Uh, and uh, for obvious reasons, uh, I cannot comment uh, on uh, that at this very moment. Ukraine has been critical of Germany's slowness in providing support to Ukraine, both financial and military. Uh, how does it stand now? Are you still expecting more from Germany? We expect and we work with our German partners uh, so they can uh, do more. And uh, yes, uh, deliveries of new weapons, uh, economic uh, support and support uh, in reconstruct reconstruction of Ukraine. This is where Germany uh, starts uh, having a, a leading role and I appreciate it. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much. Thank you.